Hi everybody. So yesterday we saw the first rise in third party benchmarks thanks to a French hardware magazine called Canard PC Hardware who were able to benchmark an engineering sample. Now, thanks to a nice guy named Dochelt Trump on Reddit that actually bought and read said magazine, we know a lot more. Firstly, the editor state that Zen still has some bugs since it is an engineering sample. Those bugs affect SMT and MicroOps cache functionalities. That's something that could have potentially hurt performance, but we don't really know. Secondly, because the magazine could not get their GTX 1080 to work on their early AM4 testing board, they had to take a Radeon Fury X. Since there were no DirectX 12 games tested, this change comes with some imp interesting implications. In my last video I showed you that most games tested did not really make use of more than two cores or four cores, which led to the situation that TDP monsters like an i7-6800K or 6900K were able to run those few threads used on some of their cores with their massive turbo clocks. Those clocks can go up until 4 GHz for 6900K on one core, where at the moment the Ryzen sample can only go up until 3.5 GHz on one core. And actually, Canard PC Hardware confirmed on Twitter that their sample never went over 3.4 GHz. So we know that compared to NVIDIA, AMD's DirectX 11 driver implementation is creating more CPU overhead and also mostly only uses one thread of the CPU. This means single core performance and therefore high turbo clocks become even more important in those benchmarks while using an AMD card. In the past, that was something that severely hurt AMD CPU's performance in DirectX 11 and had the odd result that AMD CPUs basically worked better with NVIDIA GPUs when a game hit the CPU limit. But as the benchmarks show, this seems to be a thing from the past and Ryzen's IPC is definitely good enough to compete. The second very interesting topic the magazine covered was basically part of the title story, an investigative story about Intel. There they talk about the situation inside Intel, basically that Intel might have some problems being in time with their 10 nanometer process and things are not running all that well. I can't really comment on that, but now here comes the big deal. After Kyle Bennett from Hard OCP spread the rumor about an unspecified Intel AMD licensing deal, we now have also Canard PC Hardware now quoting a source inside Intel that Intel is indeed working on a multi-chip package using an Intel CPU and an AMD GPU. After the licensing rumor came out, PC World as the only press contacted Kyle Bennett and asked him for further details. Kyle said the following, to my understanding, Intel has a team of about 1000 engineers working on their forward looking iGPU technology. Basically that work will be scrapped and that team and their work will be replaced with AMD teams and technology going forward. There are also Apple implications implications here as well, and this deal is good for Apple, certainly. While we still don't know any detail, like if there will be really AMD teams working for Intel or not, I guess at least the rumor might soon not be a rumor anymore. Yeah, that's it. You find links and sources in the description. If you like this content, hit the like button and subscribe. If not, there's another button for that as well. See you and take care.